This how-to video has been developed to help property managers carry out monthly emergency lighting tests at their properties. The owner or a person in control of the property is responsible for carrying out a number of actions and tests on the property's emergency lighting system to ensure compliance with means of escape legal requirements. Emergency lighting is lighting for an emergency situation when the main power supply is cut and any normal illumination fails. The loss of mains electricity could be the result of a fire or a power cut and the normal lighting supplies fail. This may lead to sudden darkness and possible danger to the occupants, either through physical danger or panic. All emergency lighting systems must be tested on a monthly basis. The test is a short functional test in accordance with British Standard 5266 Part 8. During this period, all emergency lighting and signs need to be checked to ensure that they are functioning correctly. For newer properties, there will usually be a testing switch adjacent to or in the vicinity of the emergency light. For this type of test you will need a testing key often referred to as a fishtail. Simply insert the testing key into the testing switch to check its functionality. You will need to record in the fire logbook whether the emergency light unit functions correctly or not and to arrange with your competent contractor to repair any defective emergency lighting units. For older properties, testing switches may not be present. In these situations, you will need to locate the appropriate fuse board or consumer unit and then to identify the lighting circuit switch. The lighting can then be temporarily switched off and the functionality of the emergency lighting units checked and noted in the fire logbook as mentioned earlier. Note, this type of test is preferably completed out of normal working hours to prevent disruption and any unnecessary panic. Should this test be completed during normal office hours, then you must notify the occupants beforehand. For further information, please contact a member of our fire safety team and thanks for watching.